Oh, yeah. Oh, hi, Jacob. Oh, sorry. Hi, Joseph. How are you? I'm good. Good. Yeah. So, uh, what did you do today? Um, man, I went to I went to Gila Valley Comic Con. Yeah? Yeah. Did you go? Oh, I did go. It was light! Light! Yeah, I went to Gila Valley Comic Con. I uh, thought I saw you there. Bam! Jeez, man, if we could only get some light on this. Which panel was this from? It wasn't a panel. It was just like one of the well, vendors. Well, not a panel. It was one of the vendors. They were called... Um, oh, we got their card. Dang. They remember. did all the custom clothes. Bam! Yeah. Bam! Man, I'm having a lot of fun with this thing. I'm telling you, I'm going to make a whole web series based on these. Bam! Yeah, something to be excited about. <laughs> well, we had a great time at uh, Gila Valley Comic Con this we, morning. We did. It was it was a great day. It was a great and day. So, of course, we had to cap it off by going to watch Pacific Rim. Uh-huh. Yeah. How would we feel about that? Mm. Um, right, first things first, let's get this out of the way. Did you enjoy the first Pacific Rim? I did. You did. I enjoyed it. Okay. Did you? It was a fun movie. Did you feel like it was that money-making movie that you needed to go like see again and again no, and again? No. No. I did. I didn't feel like it was something I had to see over and over and over again. Uh -huh. I'm yeah. pretty sure I only saw that movie one time. I think just one time. And you know, I think it was. I think we went together. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I saw it in the theater or if I saw it in... later. I don't remember. I don't know. Anyway, so um, I enjoyed the first one. I thought it was pretty good. You know, I there's a lot of people that really argued that this was like a, a very important movie, and I didn't necessarily feel How that way about it. Well, what makes a movie important? I, oh, I this is gonna be long now. No, no, no. When I, I, I asked that question, we don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. Um, but you know, it's just one of those. Like, I have a lot of friends that really, really like that movie, and then, um, yeah. so I thought, oh, okay, great. And then when they found out they were making another one, and then it kind of got pushed back, and there was rumors of another one, and it kind of went back and forth a ton, I got pretty excited. So, you know. <laughs> you, you got pushed, you decided because it got pushed back? Yeah, you know, movies that get pushed back, they usually, I don't know, no, I, I don't know. Die. Yeah, they usually, usually die. die. Yeah. yeah. But, um, no, this one, so I was, I was excited to see this movie. Cool. How'd you feel about it? Well, I, I looked at the... I mean, we got movie pass, so we're like, we're going to see as many movies as we can. My movie pass did not work today. I'm super duper frustrated. It did. It, no, mine didn't work. We got it to work, I thought. No, 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 it didn't work. I had I... to pay for it. I was really frustrated. I'm sorry. Movie pass? I, I almost want to just go buy another movie just to, <laughs> just to justify this month of movie pass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be back. I'm sure we'll be back. But anyway, movie pass. If you're watching, if you subscribe to the channel, didn't yeah, work, didn't work today. Dang, bummer. They're really working hard to drum up business. Yeah. Anyway, we're we're trying to go to as many movies as we can. Yeah, and all, we, all the ones that really get us. Yeah, and we've we've been a little stagnant lately. We haven't we haven't been able. I to saw review. Tomb Raider last weekend. Yeah, with your parents. <laughs> Not yeah. with me, with my mom and dad. Well, okay, so I, I wanted to go with Joseph, <laughs> and then Joseph, I don't know how to work or something, uh, and his parents showed up and sat by me. So Next best was, thing. Yeah. Next yeah. best thing. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the movie at hand, Pacific Rim. Um, oh, what did I think? <clears throat> what did you think, yeah. It was a fun movie. It was a fun movie. It is so much better than Hurricane Heist. <laughs> Not that that's like my litmus test. It's like, wow, is the movie good? Let's all, compare it to Hurricane Heist. All movies should be judged against Hurricane Heist. I haven't even seen it. I don't need to see it. A movie that's called Hurricane Heist. Oh, man, the title. Do I really like, need dang, to see that? Dang. Do I really? Does that really deserve my Maybe time? Maybe we could have thought for five more seconds. I'm not even an important. Title. Yeah, I'm not even. I'm not a very important person, but. I feel like Hurricane Heist, because that's what you're watching this video for. <laughs> Hurricane Heist is was is kind of like that 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 book that you you read for a cheap thrill and you're just like great now i can forget that i read this it was fun it served a purpose and the purpose was some fun and and that's what the movie was it's like yeah oh that line made me cringe a little bit that line made me cringe a little bit that's how they're gonna end it okay oh 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 it's over okay well, this if you've seen it, you know what I mean. Look, this you is know what I mean. This is why we need to do this more often. More because, movies? No, yeah, do this because and we the get, car? we get together and we're like, oh, we're on camera. Let's just talk about all the movies we've seen recently. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> so anyway, Pacific Rim. I still haven't said anything about this movie yet. 
Pacific Rim. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was okay. It's gotten kind of a, a lot of flack. It seems like I, I haven't looked yeah, it up on Rotten Tomatoes up. or anything. I'll look it up while you're doing that. But um, I, it it seems to me that this movie hasn't been very well received. But I don't think the last one was very well received. I think that was more. It had just a really strong fan base of people that really enjoyed it. Um, and I wasn't necessarily in that fan base, but. Um, I mean, I enjoyed the film, but I wasn't, you know, I didn't think it was the greatest storytelling motivation thing ever. This, to me, and I'm I'm just going to say it, it felt like a Transformers franchise type movie yes. to me. It, it feels like with this movie, they're trying to put this into a franchise, you know? They're, they're trying to... Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. They, um, I mean, at the end... Uh-huh. They they basically preview what the next one would be. Right. Yeah. Which is, I mean, not necessarily a bad thing. Let me see a score. <clears throat> yeah. See. Forty six. Split. What do what do critics think? Forty six. Critics think forty six. Yeah, that's how they come up with that. Oh, okay. What do, what do audiences think? Oh man. Black Panther's still killing it. <laughs> Tomb Raider fifty. Oh. So this is better than Tomb Raider. No, this is worse. <clears throat> Apparently. Apparently. Yeah. Audience score is 58. Okay, so it doesn't look like tomatoes... Uh, it doesn't look like audiences or critics like it very much. Yeah, so will there be another movie? I don't know. I don't know. It all, it's all about whether it makes money. This movie is definitely not just for an American audience. No. It's definitely for <clears throat> an international audience. Mm-hmm. For sure. In fact, I'll, I mean, the whole thing was made overseas. Yeah, basically. Right? It's not through the credits. Um, uh, there's China. Yeah. There was stuff out of Japan. Uh huh. Australia. Australia. Lots of and stuff in Australia. Was, and then there was and then Wales. Wales. And then. Um, but no, no, no. That's probably Australia. Yeah. Wales to South Wales. Oh, okay. Um, um, but then and then Weta did stuff for it, which probably gets some stuff into. Um, Weta's got their finger in everything now. No, they don't. Everything. Everything that ILM isn't doing. Everything that ILM doesn't do. <laughs> it's, not that they're second rate. They're both no, great. No, no, no. They're both, both fantastic. We companies. ran into a guy at Comic Con today. He had a Weta hat. Uh -huh. We were jealous. We, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, I think if you're just going to a movie and you're like, ah, I want to go see a movie. This is a fun movie. Yeah, it's a fun movie. It's a good movie. Sure. If you like the first one, I think you'll like this one. If you didn't like the first one, I don't think you'll like this one. Yeah. And that's probably what a sequel should be, right? Sure, sure. That, it no, it no, also definitely tried to tell a story. They did. Definitely. Try, well, um, I think at the end, some of the character development got a little bit weird. I'm like, okay, how are they going to wrap this up? Because at this point, your characters just don't matter. Yeah. Well, they still had your John Boyega's character was he's just he's awesome, right? Like I enjoy him and everything he he's is in. He is so good. But I feel like the, he the was best line really the, good. The best line of the movie is uh <laughs> Beauty is a burden. <laughs> Beauty is a burden. My favorite line so of the good. movie was delivered by Charlie Day. Uh and he's <laughs> What do you say? Big fan of your father. Great speechwriter, by the way. Did you hear his one about canceling the apocalypse? That was a good one. Uh, I mean, <laughs> honestly, lost it. this this he movie lost it. this movie didn't make me laugh very much. I don't. I just. I I I, I, I died <coughs> at one point. Okay, they they have all the the Jaegers. Yeah. They you know they land. They, you got four of them, and one like slides in. Yeah, yeah. No, that was funny. <laughs> it's like that was what? funny. What? But truthfully, like this movie didn't make me laugh as much as I th thought. Like it we were, was supposed to. I think we we're the to. only ones laughing. In yeah, the theater. but but that line there just made. Me, and then the the robot sliding in that was pretty funny. It was as well. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> what? Like, where does this come? Because he's just. <laughs> woo! He's... If he'd have gone all the way off screen, that'd have been brilliant. I would have. I probably would have peed myself, but that's neither here nor there. A little um, bit of pee just came out. Just, just a, little a little bit of poo little is bit. coming out. No. Um, so, I don't know. John Boyega, he was really great, but I feel like he was great kind of at the expense of, expense of Scott Eastwood's character. Oh, um, he didn't feel like he had much. Yeah, he... It, I, I wanted them to develop him more. I, you know, I wanted them to have more like a buddy comedy, but it there, felt yeah, like... There's, there's no rapport. Yeah. It's just like, come on, man. I'm totally here for you. And John Boyega is like, forget you. I'm John. No. I'm. Yeah, yeah. I'm whatever my character's name is because I've already forgotten. But um, 
Yeah, this is why I feel like we need to do this right now because I'm gonna forget about this movie totally tomorrow. But uh, I just feel like his a lot of his character development was kind of at the expense of um, Scott Eastwood's. But at the same time, his character was written very two dimensionally, right? And, yeah, I think that's the problem. And he played it very two dimensionally. I he, mean, he played the way it was written. Yeah, and that was the problem. Yeah. I don't think it was him. Yeah, it's like well. We're going to have two characters in this movie. <laughs> there's going to be other people, but there's two characters. Yeah. And even the girl really didn't get developed. No. I, I feel like she has a lot of potential, though. What is I, her name? Am- Amani Namani? Amari like Namani. That. Yeah. She was really quite good. I've never... I don't think I've seen her before. They, like, hinted at, like, you know, there's a reason why she's... She's got to do this, and we're like, cool, yeah. okay. And you, and you got to see her and John Boyega's character work together. It's mm-hmm. cool. It's like, okay, you count it up. It's like three kind of things together. Okay, yeah. we lead to the end, great. But at the, I was just kind of like, I don't know. I yeah. really cared about that. Yeah, I, I just feel I, there could have been. I don't know. There's a lot of half baked stuff going on. They had like this kind yes. of half baked romance thing going on. They're like, "Oh, look, remember, remember this," and then it's kind of over. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. It was just, it just felt really weird. The pacing was a little bit funny. Um, they definitely tried to do some funny stuff in the middle, serious stuff. Yeah, they had, a, it, you know, at like one point, you know, big, you know, thing kaiju. Cra- the thing. kaiju set off the car alarm. Yeah. It, it, you know, crashes and slides and slides oh, and, yeah. like, no, no, the, the taps Jaeger. the car. It was a Jaeger. It goes off. It beep, beep, beep. I think that was a Kia, you know, but anyway. Was it a Kia? <laughs> but they weren't in Korea. More it wouldn't have, been in Korea. It wouldn't have been in Kia. <laughs> I, they're pretty much just here. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. So, it was, it was weird. The pacing was a little weird. Um, there's just lots of robots smashing stuff. The things I did enjoy about this film, I think they did do very well is they broke away from a lot of these kind of socially accepted normalisms that were in the first film, you know, where they kind of got together and they did the thing and then the robot just kind of falls over and topples because they're not fully compatible in the drift. I thought that was good. Um, they just, they did a lot of things differently that I really enjoyed. I just, the, the rest of it didn't tie together for me. So, I don't know. I, I do think you're you're right when it says that some things are half-baked. Yeah. And I mean, it was people who try to create content, you know, the cheapest and the easiest thing to fix in a script is the script. Right. Yeah. And I, I don't, So it's like, I don't, I don't know why <laughs> there's so much trouble. And, and, and also maybe it's because we're not making money yeah. making movies and they're like, well, you know, we got to make money with this. So we're going to do this. And yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna care. Money's important. I don't know. Money's important. Is it? Yeah, I, apparently. In the movie world, yes. That's absolutely. True. That's true. It takes money to make these things. Mm. Anyway, so overall, meh. It was, it was a fun movie. It was fun. I wouldn't yeah. buy it. No. I, and honestly, I'll probably never see this again, and I'll prob- it'll probably get stuck in the back of my mind, unless there's like a huge uprising of people that really enjoy it. see what you did there? Now you see what I did there? Was that on purpose? That, that was on purpose. That was on nice. purpose. It's Pacific <laughs> Grim Upright. Because um, I kind of felt that way about the first one, you know? But, but I feel like the first one was a better movie overall. Um, yeah, maybe. As, as maybe. Storytelling-wise and character development-wise, I just felt like it was better. This um, did feel like it was repeating the first one. Yeah. So I don't know if, if they go do a third one. <laughs> It's going to have to completely change the formula. Yeah. Well, I don't know if the formula needs to be changed. I think they just need to refine it. Again, this felt very Transformer-ish to me. Matter of fact, they were making Transformer noises at the beginning. And I I thought maybe we'd gone into the wrong movie, you know? (laughs) I thought, oh, they make another Transformers movie and I just missed it. That could be. Where you at? Where you yeah, at? Yeah, where are you at? So uh, you talking to Guillermo, Guillermo <laughs> del Toro a little bit too much. Now he didn't direct this one, right? No, he, he just produced, produced it. it. He produced. So John Boyega, our boy, also produced it. And I, I'm kind of wondering what his produ- producer role was. I'm thinking I'm he really had a, I'm, I'm thinking he just had a lot of creative uh, input. Mm. I think they. I think they're. He's at a point in his career now where people are going to listen to him. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean he, he made a Star Wars movie, uh-huh. right? He made a Star Wars movie, and then, you know, he, he went to Detroit. I'm sure there's other things mm-hmm. I'm missing. Second Star Wars movie, we know he'll be back in the, you know, the, the third one. Yeah. But, like, that doesn't make you like, oh, let's let him produce. Like, that's not enough street yeah. cred. But maybe 
he's early in his career and he's like you know I know what I want to do I'm going to get in on this yeah I'm thinking kind of like James Dean Rebel Without a Cause everybody really likes the vision that he has uh, kind of thing you know what I mean well that's yeah. the word on the street just because we didn't that enjoy out, the movie James Dean was already dead like that, <laughs> that movie came out like a month after James Dean died yeah. and people were like Wait, is he's, he dead? He's, and then, like a year later, Giant came out, and they're like, "Seriously, <laughs> the guy was only alive for one of his movies." <laughs> East of Eden. There you go. I know things. That's what happens when you drive Porsches too fast. I want a Porsche. Can I have a Porsche? I think they, because this is what you were expecting in this movie. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, I think they. Uh, it wasn't his fault. Uh, I think that's what they did is they, they investigated and it's like it was actually the other car's fault. He died in a car accident. James Dean died in a car accident. On the way to a race. Yeah. He was driving a race car. Because he did that. Because James Dean. <laughs> Super derailment. We only talked about maybe 25% of Pacific Uprising. Well, we're not, we haven't ruined it yet. No. Yeah. Um, if you're expecting big kaiju monsters, they're there. They're in the preview, If you're so. expecting... Yeah. If you're expecting big uh, robot Jaegers, they're there. Mm -hmm. If you're expecting um, pretty people fighting with each other and saving the world, boom. Well, you have to see if they save the world. <laughs> but, you know, pretty people. Chances are they're going to save the world. Will they? No, will they? Will they? <laughs> there were a lot of jokes about how pretty they were. Yeah, how the chin implant? I felt like it was. I, think, I feel like it's coming in nicely. I feel that like was good. that was kind of the main joke. I mean, they probably made that joke four times. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it was strange. But anyway, but it was fun. I, I mean, I'll definitely it, yeah. go see another. Yeah, you know, a anything with John Boyega as the lead. I mean, I, I, yeah. hypocrite. I didn't see Detroit, but I don't think it even came here. I don't think it did. No, we're not getting everything. No, kind of disappointed. Or if it was here, it was only here for a week. Yeah, we didn't get to see Detroit. So, I wonder what he's got up next. Well, I don't know, my boy. <sighs> but anyway, so that's our review. Um. I guess it. I'm, I'm ashamed to say that it kind of lines up with everything else that other people have been saying. I was hoping that we would So it's, be, it's probably about a 50%? Yeah. Um, I was kind of hoping. Like if we had a rating system, which we don't really subscribe we, much to a we, rating system. We came system. up with one. Yeah. Um, but should you go just see it? not doing it right now. Yeah. Should you go see it? Uh, sure. <laughs> um, is it good? No. Uh, did we enjoy it? Yes. And that's our rating system. <laughs> Upcoming Watership Down. Big wig. That doesn't sound like a real name. Watership Down. When's that? TV miniseries. Ooh. On what? Please say Netflix. He's a voice. Oh, he's a voice actor. So when is that coming now? I don't know. What is it? Four episodes. He does big wig the voice. Oh, okay. Ah Okay, it looks like it's a Netflix thing. Netflix oh. is spending so much money right now. Yeah, I think uh, the number when we were talking to someone today and, and yeah. I've heard the same number is eight billion dollars. Yeah. That's a lot of money. So much money. Which is great. I don't know we should pr we should produce a miniseries for them. Okay. Well, yeah. uh, we're we'll, going to get on that train. We'll get on that. Yeah. Yeah, we're someone else. We're open. It's we're open. a English novel. I know I'd heard the name. 72. Small group of something or other. Okay. Yeah, it came out in the 70s. It's old. All right. Well, it, it it's <laughs> it's worth seeing if you have movie pass. Yeah. <laughs> Which it's, I didn't today. Oh, Joseph. Oh, this Gotta is get that fixed. horrible. I need yeah. to figure that out. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching this. Yeah. We have a lot of videos coming out. We do. We've been working a lot lately. Oh, um, dang. This, I, three days in a row we've been work, making yeah, videos. This whole month has been pretty heavy. We've, and then it'll probably take a break because yeah. i got to write my dissertation. Yeah, Jake's got to write his dissertation and I just changed jobs. Yeah, and uh, kind so, of catch up on life a bit. Yeah, but, but uh, these will be coming out for uh, for a little while, and maybe yep. by the time these are done coming out, 
we'll uh we'll be ready to make some more yeah we'll be ready to make some more we definitely got i think we've got a lot of ambitions now to make some <gasps> short films sorry next week is uh ready player one oh yeah dude uh, we'll, we'll be here for that yeah we'll see us for that for sure um but yeah it's gonna be awesome we've well, got cool. a lot of stuff coming up short films coming up look for those Yep, let's do this again next week. All right. We'll All see right. you guys next week. Peace.